Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, hello, my name is Dion, a photographer here in New York City. I urge you guys to come over to my social media that's linked below, my IG, my Twitter, so you guys can check out my work and see what I do. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, as you can see by today's title, we are checking out the photos that Tay from BTS did for uh, L Korea April 2023. Now, this video has been requested by a lot of you quite often. Every time there's a new video of me doing a photo shoot review, this is one of the video or one of the shoots that you guys want me to check out. I do apologize for the delay. Um, I've been reacting to a bunch of Korean dramas for my Patreon. Um, so I've been really busy with that, but I'm slowing down, <laughs> finally slowing down um, to get to do this photo shoot now. If you want to see said reactions, they're on my Patreon page. Link below, become a patron. It really helps support the channel. It's a good time over there. You guys leave comments or there's a Discord. It's a whole fun, a bunch of fun over there. So become a patron. Um, and yeah, let's get into this photo shoot. All right, first photo is a cover. I absolutely, absolutely adore this image with a burning passion. First off, the composition. I love a good portrait. If you're new here, hello. I love me a good portrait. If you go to my page, you see my photography portraits all over. This right here, amazing. The shadows on the face, on the side, is so dramatic. It's almost dreamlike. The highlights in the eye, Tay's jawline. I like the fact that he had this, like, this lean back, like, uh, I. Oh, it looks so good. And all, his hair, it's not exactly like a, what's the, what's the, the, the main guys from Greece, the Greasers? I'm not sure what, I forgot their name. Thunderbirds, right? It's giving me Grease vibes, but kind of disheveled. It's giving me very 50s bad boy kind of aesthetic, and I kind of live for it. I kind of live for it. This is a great image. This is very much... This may be dramatic, but this is very much hang up on your wall in your home kind of vibe, either in the hallway or in the living room. This seems like a timeless, classic looking image. I'm not sure if it's like black and white or how retro he kind of comes off with his hairstyle and look, but it, it gives me hang up on your in your in your your home kind of vibe, right? Or am I just being dramatic? Next image is another cover. Okay, we got red on red on red. He looks very um not annoyed, but kind of like Ho, oh, why is you here? <laughs> Look at his expression. He's very much like, um, what's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Tay. Y you got me. What, what's up? What do you want? Um, I'm obsessed with this jacket. I'm not sure if this shoot is sponsored. I mean, most of these editorials for magazines, um, especially the Korean ones, a brand will sponsor it. So I'm not sure what brand this might be. If I had to guess, it might be Celine. I probably not. Well, I don't know. Anyways, I like the jacket. Oh my Louis Vuitton. Aren't they? Aren't they all brand ambassadors for Louis? Or just? Or is that just? Who is the brand ambassador for them? Because I recently just saw uh, Jungkook be an ambassador for Calvin Klein, but I'm. I don't know if that's like. I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, but I like this image. Next image. Oh, we have another cover. Okay, you know what? I'm not the biggest fan of the color font. Like this pink does not fit. It should have been white or maybe like a brown. I don't know, but the cover, the color font is not my T. However, the image is. That beat up, he, he, he's giving me like action movie star kind of vibe. Not quite, like almost like a reluctant hero kind of role. Oh my God, can you imagine? Does Tay act? I'm sure he can't act. He wasn't that drama, that period drama, right? I remember seeing him have like a long, he had the traditional Korean uh, clothing and it was like a period piece. I'm not sure if that was like a a movie or a series. But he had that, he had that wig. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's an actor. I'm, I, I I can see him in a, like a, what what role am I thinking of for him based on this image? Because it definitely gave me a movie role. Um, not quite like The Mummy. Um, not quite... Maybe Fast and Furious? Is that too... Mm, 
it's giving me it's giving me something. You guys let me know what you guys get from this image, but I'm getting an action movie star who who whose character is a, it's like an anti hero kind of situation. Um, now, as far as picture go, I love the depth of field. I love the composition. I love this like denim jacket with the with the fringe on the side. I love his hair. I love like you know how he's like all beat up and stuff. It's it's very very cool. Oh my goodness, Tay is the coolest idol I've ever seen. This is so amazing, and I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I'm obsessed with this image. From the jewelry to his hair, how it's styled, to those glasses, the composition, the angle, the, the this photo is everything. It is everything. Do you hear me? I let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Let me get into this jewelry. Oh, it says I'm looking on the necklace. I zoomed. I zoomed in and it said Celine. So I'm. I was kind of right, maybe. It's probably sponsored by Celine, this whole shoot. Um, I love this. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for Tay. <laughs> Next image. Okay, 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 okay. I love this. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of his hairstyle, this aesthetic, his smile. It's like almost like sleepy in a day's, you know, glare with this flower. I'm into it. This, and I'm glad this photo shoot seems to be portrait heavy. Um, I love a good full body, don't get me wrong, but like a, a headshot portrait uh, is gonna hit for me every time. Next image. Okay, guys, there's a Thai drama I'm also reacting to on my Patreon called Bed Friend. Um, and I forgot what episode, maybe episode five, maybe? There is a scene in the beginning where one of the characters is looking or talking to the other person in the scene, but he is away from them. They're in the closet, and, and right next to the closet, there's a mirror, a circle mirror just like this, and he's looking in the mirror, or he's like, you can see his reflection in the mirror. He's not looking in the mirror, he's looking at the person in the closet, but you can see his reflection, and it's so similar to this. Now, he's out of frame, so all you see is the closet, the person in the closet, and then right next to the mirror on the wall, and you see his face talking to the person as he's looking in their direction. It's a cool shot. This reminds me of that so much. Now you do you do see Tay in the in the mirror and outside the mirror. So like it's kind of like not the same, but it gives me the same vibe. I like this. This is so cool. I love shots like this. I want to do shots like this in my photo shoes, a whole mirror thing. I've done it like a few times, but like I want to do it again because this this looks so great. Next image. Ooh. This whole eyebrow in thing, I'm obsessed with. I've actually, for my photo shoots, I've done it a lot. I'm like, bring your eyebrows in. Exhale through the mouth, just like this. I love this. I love this. And like, there's so many black and white images and it fits, it makes the shoot look more classic, more timeless. You know what I mean? With this flower, I, don't, I love some denim. So like, the denim it looks so cool to me. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Next image. Okay, this picture here, I really love. I Like I said, I love the outfit and, and the makeup and how it all looks, but I, I just, this mood, it looks very cinematic. And that's why I said he should be an action star because it's giving very much cinematic scene from a movie. Like this whole set, um, I just, I could even see a, maybe an action horror movie too. Maybe, I mean, I maybe I'm, I'm thinking Cabin in the Woods because of the cabin, like, vibe of this i'm not sure if he's in a cabin or not but it looks like a cabin i can see me and i kind of vibe like i just just looks so amazing and then again a good portrait a good portrait oh my god next image come on red um now that i know this this might be all celine i'm gonna look up this jacket because this jacket is a surf y'all i'm so sorry i <laughs> the whole like I don't, rhinestones on here and it's it's so cool looking he looks so cool uh, Come on, Tay. And you know, I've always said Tay gives me old soul vibes. The way he like the way he dresses, how he is, even his solo music sounds very like uh, age fine wine kind of situation. Like he's lived a life and he is just singing the blues kind of situation. He he gives out that energy. I know he's really young, but like he gives me like experience. He gives me, you know, like he's lived. He's lived. Do you know what I mean? Okay, next image. Guys, okay, this may sound weird, 
But I'm obsessed with this pattern on these pillowcases and blanket. I know, I know. It's it's giving grandma vibes, this whole flower pattern, but I love it. I don't know what it is about it. I just think it's a cool pattern, especially when you have it on an outfit. I know here it's, it's the best spread, but like if they had if he was wearing this, I'd be like, yo, with some like gloves, a uh, um cowboy hat, with a vest, like this whole like like what he's wearing now, but like in this pattern. Can you imagine? Um, but anyways, okay, it's giving me a hotel room, not a cabin. Um, I love this. Oh my god, this could be like a like a creepy bed and breakfast. <laughs> I keep wanting to make the movie scenario with this outfit, with this look, with this location, with this aesthetic. I can't help it, guys. I cannot help it. Ugh. Okay, so the next image, I actually like this. I like the composition a lot. Him being as tiny as he is, and we've seen lots of the room, um, the TV, the blinds, the, not the blinds, but the uh, curtains, the light above him, the wall. I love that we see all of that. He's like, he's in the center, but not like fully in the full frame. Uh, well, he's, he's in the full frame, but he's not taking up the full frame. I love that. Like this also could have been one of the covers. I would I would have lived. Honestly speaking, honestly, like I like this. I like the outfit. I like his energy, his attitude. Again, movie steel vibe. I so good. All right, guys. Last image. Okay, so Tay on this floor next to this bed with these coochie cutter shorts and this jacket. I like this. It it gives me um. It it doesn't give me the same vibe as the other images in this same location. Uh, but it's not too far off. It still gives me cinematic, but it's kind of giving me even older film. Maybe because of black and white, I feel like it's older, but like it's giving me very much a more of a class, cl even like the 40s, not 40s, because, mm, you know what? Actually, no, it's giving me like 70s. That's what, that's the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting a 70s kind of film. Oh, excuse me, with this image. Okay, so we are at the end and we get to pick out our favorite image of the whole entire photo shoot, which is going to be so hard. I'm looking right now and I'm like, there's like eight of them that I really love, but I had to pick one. And if I had to pick one image to really sell it, to really give you an idea of how great this shoot is, it might be this one right here. Now, it doesn't, I like the, I guess I do like the cabin ones a bit more, but this one right here speaks to my heart and soul. It just does. It is so clean and clear and out of control. It makes me want to shoot something like this so bad. Like, I want to do this so bad. So I have to pick this image. It's so good. Um, but yeah, if you guys have a favorite, let me know. And let me know why you like it. Let me know why this image in particular that you pick is your favorite. Because I'm very curious of what your reasoning might be behind picking a certain image. Um, now, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment on what I should react to next. And I will see you guys in the next one.